His full name is Kirschen. Corn. And the parents are asking me to dedicate their son. And along with the parents are some ninongs and ninongs, we would call them, or grand, uh, grand godparents. The godparents, if you are here, please uh, stand up and stand to the side along with the parents. <laughs> Good to see you, Don. <laughs> well, let me read you a scripture before we dedicate Christian Corinth. In the same chapter that we've read in Luke chapter 2, we read there in verse 21, On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise him, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he had been conceived. When the time of their purification according to the law of Moses had been completed, Joseph and Mary took him, that is Jesus, the baby Jesus, to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. And that's why before this Sunday came, I had the opportunity to talk with the father and the mother Christian and Christian regarding the dedication of their son. And I explained to them that in the Bible there is no such thing as child baptism. No such thing. What we have in the Bible is a child dedication. Baptism is when a person decides to identify himself, personally decides to identify himself with the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what baptism does. But Christian Corinth cannot decide that for himself right now because he's still a baby. And that's part of our prayers that when he grows up, he will choose and decide to follow Christ. But rather what we do as the Bible has practiced and demonstrated for us is a child dedication is when a child is presented to God, which is really an act of the parents. When the parents would come in those days and present their child to God, it is an act of worship. Because remember, the word to dedicate or to present is an act of giving. It's an act of giving or offering. And that's why the dedication of a child is an act, first and foremost, of worship to God. It's acknowledging you, Christian and Christian. You're acknowledging it that God is the source of this life, the precious Son of yours. And you honor Him. That is an act of worship. Secondly, it's an act of thanksgiving. Because you acknowledge it, that God is the source of this, it is an act of, yes, Lord, and we thank you. As the Bible says in James chapter 1, that every good and perfect gift comes from the Father above. And so it's not only an act of worship, but an act of act of giving thanks to God. And that is important because you basically are saying this has been given to you. In other words, God entrusted this life to your care. Thirdly, it's also an act of dependence to God. Knowing that it is from God, it's a gift of God, you acknowledge that you need God to make sure that you raise up Christian corn according to His ways. And I've asked you before, and now I publicly ask you again. We acknowledge and commit all this in the presence of God and the people. Now, Godparents, as I always say during child education, Godparents, what a unique title. Because that's exactly what you are. You are to represent God and to act like parents. To Christian home. In other words, the parents trust you enough that you have God-like characters and God-sense awareness 
so as when in case Christian or Christian is taken by the Lord that you will take the full responsibility of making sure that Corinth will be taken well good care of as God would and as both the parents would in other words you're not only going to show your character and the qualities of godliness during Christmas and birthdays and every opportunity that God gives you. Do you commit to that? God does? Let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you for this occasion of the wonderful celebration of life. Even, Lord God, the life that you've given to our brother Christian and sister Kirsten and this precious baby, Christian Corin, that you have given to them, that you've entrusted to them. And as they act, Lord God, in presenting and dedicating this baby to you, Corin, as an act of worship and thanksgiving and dependence of you, Lord, may you put your hand upon Christian and Kirsten and to equip them with the knowledge and the wisdom and whatever it is that they will need, even financially, to raise up Corinth according to your ways. We pray, Lord God, for the godparents also upon the realization of what their role is. I pray that they will do well with their commitment as well, even as they themselves draw themselves closer to you, our Lord and Savior. Now, Christian Corinth, Manala, it is my privilege and joy to dedicate you to God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May God's hand be upon you and may He surround you with guardian angels to watch over you and protect you. And even, Lord, and even as you grow up, that you may have the consciousness of Jesus Christ who loves you and has a will and purpose for your life so that you may grow to be a godly man and used by him for the glory and honor of his name. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.